Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Tonight we are talking about a missing persons case that is unsolved and has been unsolved since 1984. Okay, so Clara was from Joplin, Missouri, where she lived most of her life. I don't know if she was born in Joplin, Missouri, but uh, that's also where she went to school. And she went to school with my mom. They were in class together. They rode the bus together, and they sat on the bus together as well. Um, they also talked a lot about math, which Clara's mom claimed that she loved math. But on the contrary, my mom and... Clara would talk about how much they hated math, they weren't good at math, and they often got F's together because they were both really terrible at math. Clara had scoliosis of the spine, so she did have a deformity in her spine. When Clara went missing, she was currently living in Milwaukee, but she was visiting Joplin, so she was taking, uh, she was hitchhiking from Joplin to Milwaukee, and she was hauling some items from Joplin to Milwaukee where she was living. So her mom believes that robbery was the motive. Because she was carrying a large sum of money and she had a really nice suede coat that her brother had given her. Both these things for a gift. These were gifts that she got from her brother. She was last seen around Highway 44 where she was seen getting into the truck of a man who was a truck driver who was from Milwaukee. Her mom did state that she loved hitchhiking and she did this often. Her last known contact was on October 9th, 1984 at 11.40am. She contacted her family the day after that she left Joplin to contact her family and let them know where she was. She made this phone call from Pittsburgh, Kansas. This was the last time that anybody has heard from Clara. Clara's mom passed away in 2019 without ever finding out what happened to her daughter. Police did identify the truck driver that she was last seen with. However, he gave inconsistent statements. They weren't able to hold him, though, because he, they didn't have enough evidence to hold him or arrest him. Clara had also visited a lot of other truck stops in Wisconsin, Canada and California as well and her mother did believe that she had passed away. I'm going to list off her identifying features as well as what she was wearing whenever she went missing. She was wearing a reddish brown pants, a white shirt, floral wristband, blue shoes, a Timex watch that had a blue band on it. She was wearing a silver ring she had blonde hair and large plastic glasses with beige frames. Um, the notable features that she had was curly hair. She stood about 5'6". Um, she was a white female with blue eyes and she had pierced ears. Um, she had a red birthmark above her belly button and a tattoo above her left elbow that said Jeff and at the time she had some CB handles which we don't really use CB that much anymore except for like truck drivers but at the time she was using the names Blondie Blue Eyes and Missouri Sunshine. She was 21 years old when she went missing. So all of this information can be found at the Charlie Project which is a website um, for missing persons. I will list that website below so that you can have a look for yourself. You can also make donations on that website to help find missing persons, not just this specific case, but many other cases as well. Um, and there are tons of other cases that you can look into if you're looking for somebody, or if you'd like to help out with this case, you can do it on that website. This is all the information, unfortunately, that I have about Clara Grunts. Um, I looked and I dug around for a long time to try to find more information on her background, about her parents, about her siblings, but there's just not a lot of information. I saw the find a grave, 
but that's not what I'm interested in because her body's not actually there for one thing. They did hold a memorial service for her, but she's not there. We've never found her body. We've never found any information about what happened to Clara. Um, we know that the truck driver she was with didn't give any, like, good information. Like, he said one thing, but apparently, um, he... It was inconsistent information, so we need to know, like, more information about that. Like, what did he say that was inconsistent? Let's get some more information about that. Let's have, like, more information, more evidence. Let's, like, maybe the people can come together and actually get this thing solved. We could find her. What happened in Pittsburgh? Like, why was that the last place, you know, that we saw her? So... My mom did have a little bit of information that could possibly be of help. Uh, she said that she allegedly, and when I say she, I mean Clara, had a stay in a mental institution before she was 18. That's all the other information that my mom had, and we don't know that for fact. That's just um, something that she remembered reading at some point, so... And that could have been mixed up information as well. Like it could have been about a different Clara that she was reading about that went missing. So we're not 100% certain that that's true. But um, that's what information, unfortunately, that we have is that it could possibly be this Clara. It could have been another Clara. So it could help, though, if it was this Clara. Like maybe she ran away. Like maybe she had it with Milwaukee, and maybe she had it with Joplin, and she went somewhere else. Maybe she's still out there. Unfortunately, we don't know. So, let's dig some more. Let's dig a little deeper. Um, have you seen anybody with a tattoo of Jeff above their left elbow? Have you seen anybody that has scoliosis that matches these descriptions? Uh, she'd be older now, so... Do you know this person? Like, or did you know this person back in the 80s and you know what might have happened to this person? Did you see them with a truck driver, like, hitchhiking to Milwaukee? Or maybe you knew them in Milwaukee? So, there's a lot of questions that need answers. She does have two siblings that are still alive that do work on this case from time to time. Um, they submitted their DNA not long ago to try to help at some point with the case, but, uh, that doesn't seem to be getting anywhere, unfortunately. So, we're trying to get this case, we're trying to get this case solved. So, let's, let's spread the information, let's do what we can to help find what happened to her. It's been... A long time since we've looked at it. If you do have any information, call the Newton County Sheriff's Office. The phone number there is 417-451-8300. Again, 417-451-8300. And the name is Clara Marie Grunst. And that's G-R-U-N-S-T. And I'll leave all the information in the description box for you guys if you want to look more into the case and if you do have any information for you to contact the proper authorities on it. So just, uh, just let them know if you do know and if you want to look into it, go ahead and click on the websites and get the information out there. So... I would really appreciate it, and I'm sure that if anything could be found, the family would appreciate it as well. So, that is it for this video. I just wanted to do this video for not only my mom, but the family, and for Clara, because she does deserve to be found, and she deserves answers. So, let's just try to get this thing solved and get the information out there, so... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, share the video. Let people know. And I will see you all in the next video.